Resizable tables can be a problem to implement, but I'm going to show you how to do them like a chat. The first thing we want to do is initialize a beat project with React, cd into it, and install its dependencies. We're going to use Tailwind for styling and React Resizable. React Resizable offers us abstractions so that we can resize anything that's wrapped with the Resizable component. We use this because we don't want to implement our own logic for it. So we're going to install Tailwind and set it up. We're going to add the path to our content and add the imports. Now add React Resizable and add the flags for it. We're going to create interface, constants and hooks folders. And we're going to go to our tsconfig file and set up relative paths. Now that we have our project set up, we can go to the interfaces folder, create an index.ts and a column.ts files. Column.ts file is going to be used to represent what the actual table column will contain. It has a name, which is used for internal tracking, display name, which is going to be shown to the user, and the actual width in pixels. Now we need to define how our table will look like, meaning what columns will the table have, and that's why we will create a table columns file and an index file inside the constants folder. Now our table will have three columns, first name, last name, and age. Now finally we will create a hook called use columns that will bind all of this together. This hook will manage the internal state and it will track the column widths. The use column hooks takes in initial columns and a default width. We'll create a handle resize function that finds the existing column by its name and updates the width. Get column width is a function that will take the name of the column and return its width. Now we can return all of these functions that we defined and we can export the use columns hook inside the index.ts file. Now we can use the use columns hook and pass it the columns constant that we declared and also pass 250 as a default width. Now we will add table, table head and a table row tag. And inside of the table row, we'll map all of the columns. Now each column will return a resizable component, which has the handle, which takes JSX, and it's a handle that will be positioned to the right of the column, which we will use to resize the actual table column. It has a width, which is returned from the use columns hook, and we also have the on resize event. This event triggers each time we move or resize the column, and it will update the internal state of our use columns hook. Now let's add some sample data and let's see what we made. Now as you can see, this table has handles on the right side, that can be fully resizable and it can be moved to a pixel perfect point. If you want to have different starting widths for the columns, you can just update them in your data. And as you can see, changing the width actually reflects the widths in the table. And there you go. Now you know how to implement resizable tables in React. This is a new type of video that I'm making, so please give me feedback in the comments. Take care.